Hey, what's going on? In this Friday's video, I'm going to show you how you can clean your painting palette with nothing more than just a little bit of walnut oil. So stick around and let's get started. Hey, what's going on? I'm Brian McCormick and this is Gallery Bry, where every Friday you can learn all about oil painting techniques, materials, and even art marketing. So if you want to improve your painting and if you want to grow your art business, make that commitment to yourself right now by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss the videos that come out every Friday. And if you're new here, make sure you comment new down in the comments so that I can welcome you personally. So with that, let's go ahead and clean some palettes. Okay, so before we do the demo, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using to clean the palette. So I use walnut oil from M. Graham, and I really like this because it works very well, and their business model is completely solvent-free and non-toxic. They even have an Alkid fast-drying medium that works really well. So if you're looking to paint solvent-free, maybe consider taking a look at M. Graham. Gamblin even has some products as well that are solvent-free. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and clean that palette. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So all I really need to do to clean my palette is use a little bit of walnut oil. I got a paper towel. And then these are actually extremely handy. Just a little square of cotton gauze to do the final cleaning of the palette. So what I'd like to do first, and you can do this a couple different ways. You can use a palette knife, you can use a paintbrush. I typically use an older paintbrush just so that I don't mess up the bristles over time. And I use the brush to dip into the walnut oil and basically what I do is just kind of scrape it along and then you don't need much. You just dip it in there a little bit and then I just give it a little bit of a scrape just to kind of get the oil in there. And then, you know, I'll just take that, wipe that on the paper towel. I'll get a little bit more walnut oil, just rub that in there. And then again, just scrape off the majority of the paint here. Now, I'm actually getting rid of some Galkid gel that's been mixed in to the paint because I'm doing a commission and I want it to dry faster. So the point is, is that this actually is a little bit harder to get off the palette as opposed to if you were just using plain walnut oil for your medium, but it still works amazingly well. You know, again, you just kind of get it in there and then you just scrape it along and scoop up that paint. Now it's gonna take a couple passes to really thin down the paint on the palette. You really wanna make sure you get all the, the chunky parts off before you go ahead and wipe it down. So again, I'm just taking it here on my paper towel. And for the most part, I'm getting rid of most of the, the oil, the excess oil. Now here's a really important thing that you do have to remember. Walnut oil, linseed oil, poppy seed oil, any other kind of oil can be very flammable. And from what I gather, it's actually a very rare circumstance, but it's one of those situations where if it were to happen, it would be very bad. Because if you soak a rag or a paper towel or anything else like that with linseed oil, poppy seed oil, safflower oil, walnut oil, anything like that, and you just throw it in the garbage can and it sits there and it gets warm, maybe it's the summertime, you don't have air conditioning, or maybe it's in the garage and it's getting really hot, what happens is, is that the oil actually oxidizes. So unlike other paints, like an acrylic paint where it evaporates to dry, oils actually oxidize. And when they do that, they create heat. And if you create enough heat in a condensed space, then it can actually combust. So you wanna be very, very, very careful about that. So typically what I do is after I am done wiping off the palette and get most of the oil off, I will take the paper towel and I will put it in 
a plastic bag. They always say to put it into a sealed metal container. I've never gone that far, maybe I should. So maybe I'm giving bad advice here, but what I do to really make sure that there's no problems is you know, I, I wet the rag down with water and then I seal the bag very tightly so that no oxygen can get in. And that's what oxidizes the oil and oxygen also fuels fire. So if you have water and you have little to no oxygen getting in there, then you really should be okay. So I've gotten pretty much all of the pigment off of here and I'm really just probably being a little bit more over thorough than what I need to be. But the way that I like to do it is get as much of the pigment off as possible. So then when it comes time to wipe down the palette, there's really not that much to wipe down. So I'll probably go ahead here. It looks like it's pretty clean and you'll really be amazed and it's probably not going to show up as well on camera, but these little cotton squares just absolutely suck up the paint tremendously. And I will just fold it over and I'll just rub it like this. Now, the other thing that you know I'll mention in this video, and I'll probably do another video on it as well, is that this is a great way to condition your wood palette. So wood palettes are great because they are lightweight, they are easy to transport, they're easy to hold, they don't break, and they create a very nice neutral background on which to mix. So whenever you do this over a long period of time, this particular one is probably about a year old, and I've just been mixing on it. And what I do typically first, you don't have to do this, but it definitely makes it easier on your paint and your brushes, is you can seal it first with linseed oil a couple times. You wanna do a, a number of passes so that it soaks into the wood and it seals it. That way it doesn't suck up the oil from your paints as much and it doesn't suck up the oil while you're mixing as well. And it also makes it a very smooth mixing surface and it also makes it very easy to clean the palette. So as you can see, after one pass with that little bit of cotton, it is pretty much squeaky clean. I'll show you this one after I'm done and you'll see there's just a little bit of pigment on there. So this is all that I've used. So just one square of paper towel, two little squares of cotton. I've cleaned off my entire painting palette with very minimal waste. So what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll soak it in water, I'll put it in an airtight container, and then that'll be it. And then I'll be ready to go ahead and use this for the next session of painting. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was, please return the favor and give this video a thumbs up and also comment down in the comments helpful if it was helpful. All your comments and all your likes really help this channel grow and make it more visible to other people who wanna learn how to paint. So with that, I hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you next Friday.